What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, Kiki Palmer, right? She's filing for sole custody of her son and files a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend and accuses, accuses him of being an abuser throughout their relationship, right? And so this comes out, and then, you know, right after that, Darius Jackson, the father of her son, I think his name is Darius Jackson, I believe, right? His brother, Saronis Jackson, who was on Insecure, he comes out and makes a post about um, a vile, disrespectful uh, human being, some person. He's talking about a vile, disrespectful, uh, manipulative person. He doesn't say whether he's talking about his brother or if he's talking about Kiki Palmer, but many feel like, hey, he's probably talking about his brother, right? And then after that, Kiki Palmer's mother comes out and say the nerve of Saronis Jackson. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I don't believe I am. She said the nerve of him. I told him, this Kiki Palmer's mother is saying, I told him his brother was abusive to my daughter, right? And he said, it basically, you know, some, it, in so many words, I'm paraphrasing. He'll grow out of it. Uh, you know, I used to kind of be like that at one point or whatever, whatever. So she liked to act like he's, she felt like it was disingenuous of him to act like this is some new news to him. When she's like, yo, I've been telling you how your brother was to my daughter, right? And so, y'all, for real, being honest with you, as I, like, in retrospect, as I think about all the things that happened and transpired with Kiki and her son's father, yeah, it it, it doesn't surprise me that he probably was abusive. I ain't gonna even lie, right? Um, when I look back at how, how he responded to certain things, now, nah, granted, I get you being mad and being upset. But I'm like, yeah, I can kind of see it a little bit with how he handled the whole situation publicly and everything like that. Yeah, I can kind of see him probably having a little bit of that up in him. The way he said, like the way he handled it, I feel like, yeah, I can see it happening. I can see him being like that, right? Um, a lot of men too, man, they don't know. It's some men when they get with women who are famous, who have a name and they're not famous themselves, they don't know how to handle that. Your woman is the breadwinner. You know, she the one out, you know, bringing the bread in and you staying at home with the baby. Some men don't know how to handle that. They feel like, yo, um, they feel insecure about it. No pun intended because his brother was on insecure. But yeah, they don't know how to digest the fact that your woman is a breadwinner and they get jealous. They get jealous of the star power. They want to be looked at in that limelight. And maybe it was even, maybe it was more than just, oh, it's Usher doing this. Maybe when he responded, because at first I'm like, I ain't like the outfit she had on, honestly, for real. It was like, I thought the outfit was a little bit much, you know, when you see her cheeks out in the back, right? But maybe for him, it was about that she was getting a lot of attention. People were talking about how great she looked, and maybe that struck a nerve with him. Like, oh, hell no. They talking about how you look good, and you this and that, and I'm at home with the baby. You feel me? And then, like, she's famous. She getting all the, the she getting all the, the not the accolades, but all eyes on, are on her. And maybe he didn't know how to handle that. Maybe he didn't know how to handle that. And, and it led to him being abusive for real. And I'm going to be real. I believe Kiki. I believe Kiki, man. Kiki always been a, a, a solid woman, it seems, to, on my part, man. People can say what she want to say. I didn't, I didn't like the outfit she wore. But Kiki always been like a real genuine woman to me. Kiki right from Robbins, Illinois, man. Right out here outside of Chicago. Uh, always been... I don't know, man. I always like how Kiki presented herself for the most part, right? Um, she don't seem like a person to just be making stuff up. As you can see, when she said the things about Trey Songs, those came out to be from what we see all them other allegations he got hit with. It, it came out to be true. Trey got some type of dark darkness on him. You know, dark energy around him. And she's the first one that really came out publicly saying that. And many people was looking at her like she was crazy. She was over-exaggerating because they didn't want to believe that Trigger Trey, the sex symbol Trey Songs, would be acting and maneuvering like this out here. But, hey, she said it was kind of some sexual intimidation there with him. And you start seeing cases of him getting accused of the R word, R-A-P-E, right? And so, um, sexual assault. So, yeah, man, I believe Kiki. And Kiki mama don't be coming out in the public. When your mama come out and speak, she knows something going on and she want to protect her baby. Mama just don't be coming out just saying stuff just to be saying stuff. And Kiki Palmer mama not one that I know to just be in a limelight looking for attention. I believe that man start, couldn't handle that fame from that woman and just started and was in, in, 
it started getting to him and he became abusive. Or maybe he's always been like this. I can't even blame it on the fame. He probably always been like this, you know, and she didn't know it because some dudes are, are able to hide certain tendencies that they have until they get the woman. And when they feel like the woman is in love with him, their true self start coming out, right? And I'm like, damn, Kiki Palmer got mama got on that camera though. She ain't playing by the door. She looks, she want to grab one of these chairs and turn it into an Alabama situation. God damn it. You hear me? And I can't blame her for it because... If it was my daughter, I'd be ready to ride out too. I ain't gonna lie to you, but uh, yeah, I believe Kiki. Kiki ain't never came up like a liar to me at all. So yeah, man, I hope you know the situation works out the best um, for Kiki. Because at first when I found out she filed for sole custody, I said, man, unless her child is in danger, unless her life is in danger or something, I don't think I think that's a little bit harsh. But then I'm like Kiki, I don't think Kiki would do that without a reason, right? I don't think she would do it just to be spiteful. And then right after that, we saw the post on the shade room in Hollywood Unlocked that he was known to be abusive to her. All types of, you know, I know dudes in the hood that be abusive. They don't like what they girl do, smashing, throwing, breaking up their phone, pushing them, choking them, you know, uh, knocking them downstairs, all type of dudes in the hood. I heard about them type of stories with dudes. Dudes be out here breaking out their woman window, breaking out, breaking TVs up, verbally abusive, talking crazy to him, you know, um, doing all type of wild stuff. They think she said, he mentioned he broke her glasses or something. I, I may be wrong. Y'all could correct me. Stuff like that, breaking up shit in the house, going belligerent, going nuts, grabbing on the woman, choking her, and all that type of stuff, all type of physical behavior. That stuff is abusive, right? And it's not okay. And a lot of these dudes raised, you know, um, a lot of the times they raise the wrong way or they've been people, their family has been enablers of their behavior because it seemed like the brother was probably an enabler. He been a, a man, he put out that post, but his family probably was enabling that. It's kind of like that situation when uh, um, I'm not going to liken it because it's completely different. And we saw footage of this happening um, versus the, any footage. When all from what I see, it is some camera pics that came out of Kiki and him. I got to look at it. You know, I got to look at it for sure. But uh, we saw video footage of the man in Chicago in the Maxwell hitting on the woman, right? And I remember after he got killed by the son at the funeral, his family members was wearing Knockout King t-shirts and stuff, right? And I'm like, see, they've been enabling that bullshit for years. And that degeneracy that they've been enabling is what got him killed, right? And they, the family was, oh, no, we was calling them Knockout King way before that. We was calling them Knockout King way before that. I don't care if y'all was talking, because he was known to knock dudes out in the hood. Regardless, do you, do you think that's the time to celebrate something like that? No, it's not. That wasn't the time to celebrate something like that at his funeral. Being a Knockout King led to his demise, thinking he can whoop on folks and ain't going to be no consequences and repercussions to that. But that's an example of enabler, enabling behavior because the women in that man's family had the knockout king shirts with his face on it at the funeral. You know what I mean? So back to the situation, Darius Jackson, uh, Kiki Palmer's, uh, her son's father and ex-boyfriend, he probably had to come from a family of enablers. And a lot of abusers I know come from a family of enabling women who think that shit is cute and they let it go and slide for years. Oftentimes, a lot of them abusers, either they don't have their father in their life or their father is just the same way. And it should just get passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down because they've been told it's okay to be like that. And yeah, he probably overly emotional dude, always in his feelings. He getting mad, any type of little whatever. He ready to break some shit up. And yeah, and I and you know what? If he like that and he abusing Kiki, yeah, get that restraining order, restraining order on him. File for sole custody. Because, yeah, something ain't clicking with Buddy. Something ain't clicking with Buddy. You know? But, hey, that's my opinion on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Mike Machiavelli Mills TV. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.